candidates release clauses. If we want to have predictability, now this person's onboarding as a must, we need to know okay when this person joins. We'll start off with the induction procedure. Now notice period. Now notice period can be everything. Whether we need to buy it or this guy needs to serve the notice or actually there's a recovery hanging on this guy. Now if there's a re recovery, he is trying to dodge, he won't be able to perform in the initial months. So predictability goes for it, goes for a task. And a mutually convenient joining date. It's okay with me, okay with us. So that's the right attitude in this much of details. But still, if we move back to our case studies, it was not a hiring gap. Successful onboarding of the candidate, including completion of all docs, explaining all the benefits of docs clearly. Many a times, the candidate, after two and a half months of joining, will bring in two forms which says, Sir, how to fill up this? I mean, what is my entitlement for my telephone attachment? I need to know whether it's 1000, 1500, 2000, 800. There are confusions, so we need to be very clear. He doesn't even know I mean, how many kilometers he is supposed to travel as a, uh, a policy. Now, if he does about 200 kilometers a month, that needs to be multiplied by 6. If he is traveling by a two wheeler, whether it's 3 or 4 rupees, so he needs to be clarified with that. And introduce the candidate to the reporting manager, internal customers. Internal customers means there are so many departments, but then this guy needs to touch best with. It can be compliance. Can be HR, can be the travel desk, so many things he needs to do. So in the onboarding stage, if we do that, so it will be easier for us to manage. Now we need to categorically tell him about the job role. Many a times after joining, people have not seen their care missions or the genie. Yeah? So that's a little difficult. Though I mean, age is not the gap, but still. Now, if he or she is supposed to generate revenue, whether he is talking about 2x, 3x, 5x revenue, he must know it beforehand. Or else it should come to him as a surprise. That takes care of the hiring part. Now comes training. Now the other is uh, running through a very interesting puzzle and it says, what if, what if we invest in our people and the leave? Do that? What if we invest in our people and the leave? The other voice says. What if we don't and this thing? <coughs> so, yes, at times the initial investment in training is required. Within the first two weeks of joining, so if you expect me on board it, the candidate should be taken through a robust induction program covering presentation skills. Now, at any point of time, he needs to present himself, his company, his product suit, and benefits. So, presentation skills is the clean. And many times we neglect like that during the induction program. And this guy is totally relying on his own skills, which he has acquired from his previous jobs. So don't you think I'm in a small little session on presentation skills to tell him about the techniques? What if suddenly somebody places B on this and it becomes blank? Now this guy is presenting in front of a corporate. There are a hundred audience, and he's supposed to pose a large order, which is a part of predictability. Company profile and business model. Hands on my heart. Many of the salespeople, with due respect, they are unable to cite out their company's parentage, lineage, business plans, business models. Those are induction gap. Absolutely. Though those two are not exactly training gaps in our case studies, but still, this exists. Being a friend, I'm telling you. Because I've done thousands of sessions in the last 10 years. Before that, I've seen a decade of direct sales. In 1993, I've met 30 cold calls a day and have sold fax machines. Right? So I don't know how it pays at times. If this guy is not properly trained, it hurts the company. And all of us in the process, the entire team loses. And predictability goes for a toss. Now, if it has, it has to be predictable, first we need to make it visible. So I'm absolutely with this kind of online forums where you have this Microsoft or Calendar software where we have this lead capturing systems, you can do the funneling automatically, you can capture every possible prospect, that's fine. But that needs to be embedded in the induction program. If that one error is that so important, that needs to be embedded in the induction program. Now, all of us may know it's very difficult to bring back this guy again to the training room for seven more days. That's a little impractical because he needs to do it month and month and month, the performance. Now, soft skills required for the job role. Now, someone was talking about a bank assurance in the first session when Sanjay was talking about. 
Now, in a bank assurance relationship management is a key skill. Now, if this junior guy is talking to a branch head who is a VP level guy, now he has to have certain match or some bandwidth to match, right? So in that case, he needs to be equipped with a little bit of relationship skills. So probably he needs to dress right for the particular meeting in the morning when he visits the branch for the first time at 9.30. Now, domain knowledge, of course, domain knowledge is, of course, if this guy is into any particular domain, needs to have, whether it's telecom or in hotels. Now, if it's in hotels, you must know what exactly it's all about, how does FNB function, how does housekeeping perform, how does it been done. Now, the necessary certifications. Let's say, many times, a wealth manager when they join a bank or a wealth management company, mutual fund, Life insurance, IRDA, and this certifications need to be done immediately. I just mentioned City. Yes, City Bank, they run a 15 days program within first two weeks of joining the person.